When it comes to Mario Kart games, there are multiple modes that are implemented into Mario Kart. They can go from Grand Prix, to Time Trials, to Versus Mode, to even Online Services. However, there is a mode I have not mentioned, and it is a mode that helps us enjoy Mario Kart more without being on the racetracks. This is part 3 of my Mario Kart X prediction series. The first part I have discussed possible retro tracks. And the second part I have discussed potential gimmicks that could be incorporated into Mario Kart X. In this part I am discussing battle tracks. There are a variety of battle tracks implemented into the Mario Kart games that I thought it would be nice to discuss possible retro battle tracks as well as concept battle maps as well. I do want to point out that I am only covering battle tracks, not battle modes, such as Balloon Battle and Coin Rush. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, do hit that notification bell, and I actually haven't said this in my previous Mario Kart X videos, but do pick up some of my merch as it will definitely help me out financially, especially for someone who's about to enter his final semester of college. But without further ado, here are my battle track predictions. The first thing I'm going to do is predict the retro battle maps as they are very quick. But before I predict the retro battle maps, let's go back to the beginning when retro battle maps became a thing. Retro battle maps started back in Mario Kart DS, only bringing two retro battle maps, Block Fort from Mario Kart 64 and Pipe Plaza from Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Kart Wii brought back five retro battle maps, SNES Battle Course 4, N64 Skyscraper, GBA Battle Course 3, GCN Cookie Land, and DS Twilight House making this game the most retro battle maps to this day. Mario Kart 7 only brought back three battle maps, N64 Big Donut, GBA Battle Course 1, and DS Palm Shore. We are going to pretend the original Mario Kart 8 game doesn't exist because of, well, you know, yeah. So, I'm going to skip to 8 Deluxe, when that game brought back three retro battle maps, SNES Battle Course 1, GCN Luigi's Mansion, and 3DS Woohoo Town. Mario Kart Tour only had three retro battle maps, and all three were from past Mario Kart games. That being GCN Cookie Land and DS Twilight House, which were retroized in Mario Kart Wii, and GBA Battle Course 1, which was retroized in Mario Kart 7. So now comes the question, what retro battle stages would I like to see appear in Mario Kart X? After thinking long and hard, I am predicting that Mario Kart X will have four retro battle stages. I am not going to repeat any battle maps as there are a lot of battle maps that haven't been reused such as, oh I don't know, no f retro Wii battle tracks. But Anyways, for the retro battle maps, I put down Wii Block Fort, 3DS Honeybee Hive, Switch Lunar Colony, and GCN tilt a -Car. It's obvious for GCN tilt a -Car. Two words. Anti-gravity potential. It starts off normal, but then over time, the track tilts, and it is perfect for the anti-gravity mechanic to kick in. Plus, it is one of the tracks that doesn't have any barriers, making this track super tough. Switch Lunar Colony because of the moon physics making it a great battle map by avoiding your opponents as much as possible thanks to the moon physics. And not to mention that the entirety of the stage is 100% anti-gravity. And you know me when it comes to battle stages and tracks that have anti-gravity, I am addicted, with the exception for GCN Baby Park, as I absolutely hate that track. We block Fort because I always enjoyed the gimmick with the blocks disappearing into the abyss, 
Except for the daisy statue, because in my opinion, the daisy statue falling down into the abyss is a crime scene and a half. To which I also heard that Block 4 was supposed to have been planned to be a Mario Kart Tour, but got scrapped. Nintendo, add a freaking Wii battle map for once. Do it, you cowards! And 3DS Honeybee Hive, because as a Super Mario Galaxy fan, I love the idea of this stage, almost a remnant of Honey Hive Galaxy. Plus the giant fan at the center of the stage is a nice touch as it sends you to a random part of the stage when you hit the fan. So like I said, I am a huge fan when it comes to this stage. <laughs> now that I have covered the potential retro battle stages, I think it's time for me to bring you a couple of concept battle maps that I have thought of. And yes, I hand drew these myself. Except for two battle stage concepts that are already racetracks themselves. What do I mean by that? The first part of battle map concepts are actually tour city track battle ideas. Because after all, out of 16 tour city tracks, only two of them have a battle map layout. Those being New York Minute and Paris Promenade. But then I was looking at all of the tour city tracks in 8 Deluxe slash Tour combined and thought to myself, what if there were more cities that could have been a battle map in Tour? The first city track that I felt like could have been a battle stage is Berlin Byways. Here is the map of Berlin Byways in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now I was thinking to myself, what if this area right here could be a battle arena? Most notably, the 17th of June Street. I don't know how to properly pronounce the German name of the street fluently. The full roundabout that is blocked by a fence on the right side with a couple of MKTV trucks. The whole route of Berlin Byways 3 in Tor, as well as the road that you do not race on in Tor that intersects to the Tiergarten. And you can see with the area that I colored in, there are a few intersecting parts as well as utilizing the whole roundabout around the Berlin Victory Column would make it a great battle map in my opinion. And if you think that this is a bad battle map concept, talk that to Paris Promenade looking like a vehicle with a shrunken wheel. Now when it comes to Tour City tracks being morphed as a battle stage, you may be thinking to yourself, okay, in order for a Tour City track to be a battle stage, it must use some of the routes and must not have any ramps, nor the routes not reliable enough for it to be a battle stage, like Vancouver Velocity for example. And you may be right on that, but what if I were to tell you about a city track where you actually drive on a certain large field without needing to go on the racetrack, even though the field is part of the racetrack. That's right. The second city track battle concept is Madrid Drive and the Santiago Bernabal Stadium. Trust me, this soccer stadium, or football if you're not American, is large enough that it should have been a battle stage and tour from the start. I mean the game has freaking GCN Cookie Land and it is a circle with bounce ramps in the track. And let's not forget that the speed in battle mode is decreased to 50cc. So if you think that because of you racing on 150cc a lot, that you will be bouncing off the walls, think again with battle mode. And I know what you're saying, I mentioned Vancouver Velocity. And you may be thinking, there is the hockey rink and Vancouver Velocity. And you may be right on that. But look at the size comparisons of the hockey rink in Vancouver Velocity and the soccer field in Madrid Drive. So that covers the two city track battle concepts. Now let me show you a battle map concept that I thought of when I was on my lunch break at work a couple weeks ago. Here is the concept map. As you can see, it has a couple of straight paths, rounded walls, and a couple of turns. But what lies exactly in this map? Well, 
as a person who is obsessed with the anti-gravity mechanic, I decided to place the anti-gravity mechanic at the top part of the stage. And it will be more like you are in anti-gravity, where you are driving upside down. This part right here is not a wall, but a secret area. You'll see what I have in store with this. And the two rounded cul-de-sac areas actually have something special with them. My all-time favorite movie, the Super Mario Bros. movie, has something that no Mario Kart game has. And if you have seen my gimmicks video, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you do. The gimmicks video talks about the hover bike that Peach activated to get across the giant lake in the movie to get to the Mushroom Kingdom, and how that gimmick should be implemented into the next Mario Kart game. This giant area right here at the giant cul-de-sac will be a perfect area for the hover cart mechanic. As for the smaller space and the smaller cul-de-sac area, it would be good for a secret passageway where you enter in this area and enter an underwater section that leads to this tiny square part right here. And I have a concept of what this area would look like. And as you can see, the whole area will be a plain, curvy road. However, this is the secret with this road. It will come with a risk-reward situation. The risk? The entire underwater section is all boost panels. And half of the road will have you dip down and shoot you up really fast. So you're going to shoot out of the other side like Team Rocket blasting off after getting thunderbolted by Ash's Pikachu. Let's wrap this up! Pikachu, Thunderbolt, go! <laughs> the reward? Finding things like extra coins if you're doing coin runners, to activating the wonder effect, so this battle stage's wonder effect will be randomized. Now you may be asking me, what is the theme? Where is it taking place? The theme I have decided to give this battle stage is like your average block plaza settlement where you're in an enclosed area. Nothing too fancy, nothing too serious. With the concept I have, is crazy enough. Oh, and I have something funny to tell you with this stage. I showed this off to one of my favorite Twitch streamers, Sean Ray's Discord server, and he said to me, that it looks like a snake on a coat rack. The more I look at it, I can actually see it. So there we have it. Those are my retro battle map predictions, as well as the inclusion of two tour city track battle map concepts, as well as my own original battle map concept. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.